Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So this is a real quickie. I did a much more in-depth video today about the light of consciousness, population collapse, the Tesla bot, full self-driving, et cetera, et cetera. Definitely check that out. I will leave the link in a card and in the description. But you know, of course, because it's Tesla and it's Elon Musk, I can't record a video yesterday and put it out today and not already be behind. So as many of you already know, there is a stock split from Tesla. There is no indication of what the stock split is. Last time it was a five to one stock split. If it was a five to one stock split now, you know, it put the stock back down around $200. So that would make some logical sense. Uh, you know, <laughs> we'll have to see what happens with that. The, uh, the, the, the stock split has already been suggested. It has been approved by the board. It is up for a vote with the shareholders, which I guess includes me, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, uh, as, <laughs> as Tom Nash said, it's free money. Why would anybody say no to this? So it will definitely get approved because it's, it's not like, okay, stock split doesn't mean Mean anything. It's basically just taking if you had one share previously and it was a five to one split, you would have five shares, but each of the five shares would only be worth 20% of what it was before. So there's no functional importance to a stock split except for number one, psychologically, because what happens is in the lead up to a stock split, well, it indicates that the company thinks it's doing really well, right? <laughs> so there's a psychological aspect to that where people are like, ooh, I should probably buy Tesla stock right now. There's also, of course, generally speaking, in the lead up to a stock split from any company, but especially one like Tesla, last time, oh gosh, did it double? I think it may have doubled before the last stock split, which was August of 2020 or 2021. Oh my goodness. I can't even remember. I think it was actually last August. I think it was 2021. So yeah, so it's it's not even a full year since the last stock split. But anyway, it in the lead up to it, it, it got a lot more. So people ended up making money. So the obvious thing would be, even though the stock split itself doesn't do anything to the shares because each one is divided by whatever percentage that you just split it by, there is a buildup to that which allows which creates a bigger bubble, right? The other aspect of this, of course, is the fact that more individuals can get in on this. In some ways, especially with Robinhood, the advent of Robinhood and many other stock companies now, that, um, that stock trading companies, since you can buy fractional shares, it doesn't matter nearly as much. But I personally prefer to buy full shares. I, I mean, I know I don't have enough to have any impact on the company, but it is nice to own things in full shares. So, you know, it allows more people to buy full shares, right? There's not, let's say, a certain percentage of the population can afford to lay down a thousand dollars to buy a single share of Tesla, whereas a much larger percent of the population can put down two hundred dollars to buy a share of Tesla. Yeah, it's worth a fifth as much as it used to be, but again, if you're holding this stuff, right, you got to hodl. <laughs> if you're holding this stuff for ten years or something like that, it doesn't matter where you get in. You just have to get in and and hope for the tide to rise. I very much believe most of my stock portfolio, well, actually it's Apple and it's uh, Tesla. So <laughs> there are several other small things that I've got a few shares of, like some ARK Invest funds and things like that. But primarily my, my very, very small stock portfolio is primarily based around Apple and Tesla. I feel like, and I bought the Apple shares back in the 1990s. So, um, you know, I've done pretty well on that front. If I hadn't gone through a divorce, I would actually be very well off right now because of those decisions that I made 20 something years ago. But anyway, so this stock split means nothing in terms of the fundamentals of the company, except that Tesla thinks that it's doing really well, but it's probably going to lead to a rise in the stock prices, which is good for everybody who's holding right now. And then when they do the split, it's going to be good for retail investors, small scale investors, Again, you know, institutional investors, what do they care whether it's $200 a share or $1,000 a share or $5,000 a share or whatever? Uh, but, oh, there was one other piece of the puzzle, which was, interestingly enough, with Google and Amazon doing stock splits, they had actually, well, once they complete the stock split, their prices would be less than Tesla's. And I believe in the tech sector, and gosh, I, I don't know all of the 
maybe in the whole you know universe of stocks that Tesla would be one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive stocks out there. So there is a reason for them to do this. They don't want to be that kind of outlier, right? If everybody else's stock is, t you know, the two hundred dollar range or something like that, and or five hundred dollars or whatever it is, and Tesla's is double that or quadruple that or something, then they're kind of a weird outlier. So there is another reason for them to do it. There's a rationale for them to do the split and get their stock prices down to sort of what the rest of the tech industry stock prices are. So that is a, you know, a further twist to this whole thing. Anyway, I'll be interested to see what you all think about that. Uh, you know, I, as, you, as a Tesla stock holder, I would assume you'll probably be pretty happy about this. If you are considering buying Tesla stock, but you've never purchased Tesla stock before, and you know, you were looking at it and going like $700 or $1,000 was too expensive, would you be interested in purchasing stock now that it will be cheaper again? Um, and if it does what it did last time, hopefully what we'll see is over the next 12 months, we'll get another multiplication of the value of the stock, in which case our five to one split. So if you had one share, you'd have five shares now, and each of those five shares would be worth about what the one share was previously. I'm not a stock analyst. I'm not advising anything here. I'm just telling you what's out there. And I'm telling you that I personally have, a, you know, a small amount of Tesla stock. But anyway, it's getting bigger as they keep doing the splits. So anyway, I'll be interested to see what you all have to think about that. Everybody have a lovely day. Definitely don't forget to watch my other video. It's much more in depth and it, it really goes into a lot of stuff about the way Elon Musk is thinking. So definitely watch that. I'll put a card at the end of this video just to make sure that you have a chance to watch that. Everybody have a lovely Monday. I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.